All right, it looks like you got the license plate. Did you remember to gas it? Oh, geez. You know, I totally forgot to put gas in it, but I think we're gonna be okay because today we're trying out the all new Mercedes-Benz all-electric EQB. All right, so for a little bit of an exterior walk around of the all new Mercedes EQB, I think one of the first visual differences that you notice is the way this big front and grill design is stylistically a lot different than what you're gonna see on most of the gasoline vehicles. So right from the get go, the headlamp design being a little bit different with this blue banding that you see on top, which you're starting to notice from the Mercedes EQ headlights, as well as the fact that there's actually a central band that works its way the whole way across the front of this vehicle. That's actually a single light that also works its way above this new black panel grill that you see. And you're gonna actually notice a lot of the same design elements on this black panel grill from our gasoline offerings, including the double lamella grill here, where you see these individual chrome blades, as well as of course the big Mercedes central star in the middle here. This one actually also happens to feature the surround view camera with parking assist, so it does have that central front facing camera. Because of the styling on this, it also has some of those AMG line styling elements. So you have the cool little air flicks on the front, and coming across the side, you're gonna notice this cool new Mercedes EQ badging also in blue. Continuing to work around the vehicle, one of the more kind of noticeable, kind of not at first differences, which is, which is kind of clever, I think, is the gas tank on the side is of course now your electric port. So what you're gonna find is they use some of the existing infrastructure with where the fuel tank was to of course put your port for your charging, which is pretty awesome. And to go over this a little bit, we also have a video out there to walk you through some of the different ways to charge your electric Mercedes-Benz. Additionally, around back, something I really like. So a couple of cool changes back here. So again, with the we have a tail light assembly on the outside. They put this single band of light to match how it is up front. And then around back, there's a few visual changes compared to the gasoline offering. So one of which is the entirely different font design that you're gonna find both with the formatic badging as well as with the actual model badging itself. Additionally, something Mercedes did on this model is they actually made the rear operate similar to a lot of our sport utility coupes as well as our actual car coupes in that you can push on the star to open the rear lift gate, which is pretty cool. Something actually featured on this particular wheel, uh, you'll notice it has a little bit of kind of like a uh, spiderweb st style design to it where it has this inner ring. What that inner ring actually is, is that's the aero ring. So a lot of the new electric vehicle offerings that you're gonna see out there, in particular, a lot of the new Mercedes EQ offerings are gonna have this aero ring, which actually with the wheel design, not only adds a little bit of more intrigue and style to the wheels, but it actually helps to improve aerodynamics and therefore your overall efficiency of the vehicle and therefore your range. So it will run for a longer range. So another pretty cool difference on the Mercedes EQB, as opposed to say our first offering, which was the Mercedes EQS, is you actually can pop the hood as well on this car. So something kind of nice is you are able to actually see underneath this vehicle a little bit and see no engine. So what you're actually gonna find here is you can see down just a little bit to where naturally you still have your 12 volt battery, you have your washer fluid, point of access here, and you're actually gonna see mostly just some of the controlling for the motors of the vehicle itself. You can't quite see all the way down to where the batteries are, but if you see into where you have a couple of those uh, kind of wrapped orange cables, that's actually some of the high voltage cabling that leads its way down to the battery sled at the bottom. It's kind of like a skateboard platform, the way the new Mercedes EQ infrastructure works. So all the batteries are on the bottom. Let's take it for a ride. The all new Mercedes EQB, only our second all electric offering in the US market and our first sport utility. We obviously continue to every year sell more and more sport utilities in, in the United States. And with their popularity, this vehicle seems to be following suit, giving you a lot of all around practicality. So I think one of the first big things you notice with the Mercedes EQ line is just how quiet the vehicle is. So right from the get go, not having an internal combustion engine in this vehicle at all, obviously changes a lot of things when it comes to 
noises and just general sounds and stuff that you would hear. There's obviously no engine, there's no transmission, so there's not a whole lot of noise. About all we can even hear right now is the sound of the climate control, which if I turn the blower down, it is silent. I mean, there is, it's just shockingly quiet uh, because again, it is electric. So we are fully powered by batteries. A couple little changes too that that makes to the dash. So right off the bat, on this Mercedes-Benz user experience screen, which is starting to become a little bit more familiar on our lineup. You'll notice that on this left side, a couple of things have changed compared to on say the gasoline offerings where right from the get-go, we have a few more um, electric style controls and piece of information on the bottom, which I'll walk through as well as the tachometer has changed quite a bit because there's really no revs. Without having a transmission, you're not actually seeing any shift points. So instead Mercedes has given you this new EQ gauge, which has a pretty cool readout, which we're going to go over a little bit to how all of this works. So first of all, on the left side here, what you notice is where in the past would have been your fuel range on the vehicle has now been replaced with your battery range. And what it'll actually do in real time is it'll give us a readout as to approximately how many miles we have in the battery in terms of range, as well as what's called a max readout. So you'll actually notice right now, we're looking at about 82 miles and a max readout of 93. And what that effectively means is if we were to say, continue driving the vehicle the way we're driving it now, from like a performance standpoint, from a say a stop and go standpoint, things of that nature, we're gonna approximately get 82 more miles out of it before we would obviously absolutely have to charge. Whereas that 93 number, is the maximum that we might be able to eke out of the battery based on either changing our driving habit or potentially, let's say, turning down like the climate control or adjusting a few of the parameters. So that's pretty cool that in real time we can get this info. Another thing that you'll notice, which is a little bit different, is this green box with the word ready. And what that is for is to let you know that the car is on, let you know the car is running. And obviously, again, a lot of that has to do with the, the noise difference, right? So when you are at a standstill and you start up this car, the, that, that difference between putting the car in the on position, say, and actually starting the vehicle, um, it's not super noticeable to the ear that the car started. So that green ready obviously tells you that the car is engaged, that the car's on. And you'll of course notice too by the ability to put the car into drive and reverse and so on. Probably my favorite gauge is the gauge on the right. And it's really cool what Mercedes has done with, again, what would typically be the tachometer where you would see your rev points for your transmission effectively where you're seeing your shifts and which which gear you're in and the rpm stuff like that is you can now see both the recuperation and the percent charge so what i'm going to do first here is i'm going to accelerate a little so if i'm kind of getting on the car a little bit and i'm using the power what you're going to find is this gauge starts to work its way up now i gave it a good bit of gas there and it still barely went that far and actually now by being able to coast a little notice it went sort of like into this negative gauge this is what is called recuperation. So this is a big thing with electric vehicles. And this is a way that the electric vehicles can help to kind of in real time improve upon the mileage. So keep this in mind when you're driving an electric vehicle. You can from time to time have a certain readout here of mileage that you might actually be able to get a lot more mileage than that based on something like recuperation technology. This is where using the coasting effect basically recharges the battery on the vehicle and this is a big thing this will really change effectively the overall range you can get out of one of these mercedes eqs based on how you're driving the car so again when i'm accelerating up a hill notice it goes up here a little bit but if i let off check that out we're recouping a ton of the power the car still has paddle shifters i know the first thing i was thinking when i saw these is well why does the car have paddle shifters when it doesn't have a transmission so they were clever. Mercedes uh, designed these so that they can actually adjust your recuperation percentage in real time as you're driving the car. So if you do nothing, if you just get in the car, you fire it up, you turn it on, put it in drive, you're going to notice that we are in drive, which is the typical D icon you're used to seeing on Mercedes for years when you put the car in a drive. However, you can toggle these paddle shifters and you can adjust the recuperation on the fly, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna show that off a little bit too, because that is pretty darn cool on this car. So as we're driving, I can toggle these paddle shifters up or down and adjust recuperation between a few different modes. If I toggle the paddle shifter down, 
what's going to happen is, is this D is going to become a D minus. This is heavy recoup. Notice as soon as I did this, how this gauge went way into the recuperation. Now I'm about to go up a hill, so I'm going to accelerate a little, which is going to make this gauge go the other way. But notice now when I let off the accelerator, how quickly the car is braking. This is a little bit of that, uh, almost like electric golf cart feel where you can brake really quickly. And it's what a lot of manufacturers are kind of referencing as a one pedal drive. So you effectively can drive this car in this mode where when you want to be going faster and you want to sustain speed, you're going to use your accelerator. And when you don't, when you want to brake, you actually don't have to use your brakes that much. You can effectively let off the accelerator and the car brakes really quickly. Now, don't get me wrong. If you want to come to a complete spot, excuse me, a complete stop, you can obviously go ahead and use your brake pedal. But the amount that it brakes the car automatically is rather strong. So you actually can drive this. I mean, I haven't, since I've switched over, I haven't even touched the brake pedal. Now, the flip side is obviously I can scroll back into the default drive. And as you probably guessed, I can hit this plus sign and go into what's called D plus. As you probably guessed, D plus is the total opposite. So D plus is where even if I let off of this pedal, I'm not very quickly going into recuperation. This is designed a little bit more around a performance drive feel. So this is where, in case you were wondering how to get this meter all the way up, this is where when I accelerate, it's like a space shuttle. I mean, we are going quickly. All the accelerations instantly there. And mind you, I'm still driving in the comfort dynamic setting. I haven't even adjusted any of the car's parameters around steering stiffness or response time. That's just making use of all the battery instantly. And again, not focusing as much on the recuperation. All right, so something else I just did here was engage what Mercedes is referencing as their electric intelligence. So their kind of their, their EQ electric intelligence. And one of the ways to do that was actually, again, engaging the paddle shifters where I actually switched into a mode called D auto. What D auto is going to do is it's actually going to handle all that recuperation we talked about without me having to do a thing. So without me having to go into minus, go into plus, stay in drive, it's actually going to base this off of kind of driving habits as well as roads and how it can actually engage even based on the roads has to do with the nav system. So you're gonna find on a lot of the Mercedes EQ models, the way this nav system is operating, it can do a lot of rather sophisticated stuff when it comes to real time, kind of calculating for you your range based on where you're going, as well as, again, basing these recuperation modes off of how long until we're gonna stop for a charge. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? navigate to New York City. So now what's happened is our Please follow the road for four nav miles. system on the fly is going to look at charging options and Your it's going to show me toll roads. this is pretty awesome. So notice this little kind of green range line that's created itself here on our nav system. That's how far we can go right now with this vehicle until we're going to have to stop and charge. So in real time, the car is mapping how far it can go on how much electricity it has left in the battery. Please follow the road for four miles. And it's actually going to map out charging for me on the way so I don't run out of power, which is pretty awesome. And based on my stops and based on how I drive, this electric intelligence will update on the fly to make sure I do not run out of power on the, on the ride there. And it's also gonna be creative enough so it gives me options, charging options, based on kind of the, the timing, if you will. So say there, I have a few options in terms of number of chargers I can stop at between here and my destination. I can actually alternate between these chargers on the fly, both by searching in the vicinity, searching near my destination, searching along the route. So check this out, this is pretty cool. So I can actually see in real time all these chargers on screen and how they fall based on where I'm driving, which is pretty awesome. The Mercedes EQB uses our latest MBUX Mercedes-Benz user experience layout and design with the dual displays all inlaid into one pane of glass. A few cool new menus over here as well being one of the EQs is this fun little EQ menu where you can do things like charging station searches and 
check out your real-time consumption and energy flow and everything all on screen, which is pretty amazing. You can even control a lot of your charging all from this display. So let's say you wanted to control uh, the maximum capacity that you, you fill the battery to. You can control that on the screen. Instead of remote start, you now have preconditioning same kind of thing. So you're going to hit the preconditioning and it's going to have the climate to the ideal operating condition for the battery. Also from that app, you can also control things like off-peak charging. So if you have your car plugged in at night, you want to take advantage of power when it's a little less expensive. You can have the car charge at 1, 2, 3 in the morning as opposed to when electricity is a little more money. Mercedes EQB is equipped with a great number of safety features, including active brake assist, collision assist. Obviously, we have our blind spot assist on the sides, the full pre-safe occupant safety system that naturally can sense the possibility of a crash and adapt a number of parameters accordingly. Things like your electric tensioning devices and the seat belts and making even adjustments to the seat positioning in real time if, if it senses the possibility of an accident or a vehicle approaching you too quickly. If we approach a vehicle in front of us too fast, it will also alert us. Active lane assist, where if I drift out of a line, it will notify me both on screen as well as with the pulsation on the wheel. And actually the one we're driving is a pinnacle trimmed EQB, which is pretty cool. So this actually even features the driver's assist where I have the adaptive cruise control feature. So I can actually additionally to setting a speed, I can engage a following distance, which is pretty awesome. So you'll notice I can set speeds here, which it will take care of, but I can also set my follow, which is pretty awesome. So in real time, I'm not getting up too close on the car in front of us, but then when that car leaves, it's going to re-accelerate and re-follow the next car, which is, is pretty amazing. If you, uh, if you drive on the highway a lot, this is an awesome feature. So this is really cool. So right now it's actually helping me steer. I'm just gently every so often touching on the steering wheel. It's actually doing a lot of this for me and it's also taking care of my gas and brake right now. The car's actually slowing down for me automatically. And obviously if you want to take control, you can, but again, the car right now is actually braking for us. We even happen to have a heads up display on this guy, which is nice. So we have a lens up here on the dash, which can actually give me a whole bunch of information on the windshield. So it makes it nice if you want to see a lot of this charging information and your speed and even like your navigation information all projected onto the windshield. This uh, actually has one of the AMG Sport Package styled interiors as well where it has the dynamic uh, sort of suede, real high grain leather uh, inserts on both the door panels as well as on the seat cushions. We have that red accent stitching on the MB Techs. As the fact that it is naturally a Mercedes-Benz, it has a four-year, 50,000-mile Mercedes comprehensive warranty. However, something cool they did with the EQs is they put a separate warranty on the batteries. So the batteries, the high-voltage cabling, stuff like that, they actually put a 10-year, 155,000-mile warranty on the batteries and the high-voltage cabling. So if you have any questions or wondering about the batteries holding up, the cables holding up, stuff like that. That's a that's a pretty awesome warranty on the batteries on your Mercedes EQ. Again, 10 year, 155,000 miles. You can drive it an awful lot and not have to worry about them. Just amazingly nimble to turn and corner. We just made a U-turn there and couldn't have been easier. I think I was able to make that turn with one hand. Just nice and nimble, easy to drive. And then we can also, in addition to using the self-parking, we can naturally park ourselves pretty easily. Notice the cameras come on. Something I really love on a Mercedes backup camera too is the sweep. You'll notice it actually shows us in real time where our rate of sweep is. So if we're gonna get close to a car and these bolden lines here where the tires are. So this is actually a good opportunity to kind of show this off a bit where again, I do have sensors. I am fine, but if I wanted to straighten up, I obviously could. And again, as I adjust this in real time, I can use various camera angles. And I, once again, I have sensors all the way around the car. Something I love too is how they did the sensors on this is they actually didn't just put sensors on the very corners. There's also sensors on the side. 
You'll notice as I get close to things how it beeps for me and lights up for me, which is pretty awesome. But again, there's actually even sensors on the side of this car, so it should help you too from uh, curbing a wheel or anything like that if you're getting close. So that was the ride along in the all new Mercedes-Benz EQB. For more information on everything Mercedes EQ All Electric, please visit us here at Bud Smale Motor Cars in Greensburg or visit us on the web at smalemercedesbenz.com.